Tamox just added a new distro to their Pirit distro list and the distro's name is Deepin. Though the version that was added um, is the beta version and um, it is unstable, okay? But then I thought of making a video on how to install the GUI version and use it on your, you know, on your, on your Android phone just in case you wanted to try it out, okay? So, of course, as you already know, you're going to install Pirit distro and after installing Pirit distro, you can find the package in the period distro list by typing the command pd list and you're going to see the dpin as you can see and um it is important to note that um dpin on tamox only supports 64-bit cpus okay my phone operates um it runs on a 64-bit cpu to know the cpu that your phone runs on just simply type the command you name iphone m if the result you got is at 64 or um i'm 64 you know you're operating on a 64-bit cpu okay so to install the pin you're just simply going to type the command pd install the pin okay that is going to install the package and after installing the pin you're going to log into the cli with the command p root distro login the pin okay um which in the short form you can also write as pd login the pin okay so um, after logging in, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to update your terminal, of course. I know that most of you already know um, the command for updating. This is a Debian-based distro, so um, it uses basically, you know, the same command as the Debian operating system, okay? So after updating your um, your terminal, the next thing you're going to do is um, we're going to be installing the GUI, of course. But um, it is important to know that because of the fact that this version of dpin is unstable if you install the official version of the gui which is the dde desktop it is not going to function so for that reason we use the xfce desktop you're seeing above and um even if you try logging in normally with xfce it is going to show you a blank screen so um i improvise you know we are going to be logging in using a different method now you're going to create a new session to tamox and after creating that section you're going to you know update your tamox packages with the command pkg update okay now, after updating those Tamox packages, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install Tiger VNC, you're going to install X11 repo, and you're also going to install X server. Okay, you're going to be doing all of those with the command shown on your screen right now, which is pkg install. And of course, to install X11 repo, you're going to use the command X11 repo, and then you're going to create a colon. All right, and then we're going to be installing Tiger VNC and um, the um, x server okay with the command pkg install x work i find x host tiger vnc now after installing that the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting to vnc and we're going to make the server available to other operating system on the local host by connecting it um to the tcp protocol okay so um to do that you're going to use the command vnc server to start the vnc server and we're going to use the command i find listing tcp colon one to connect it to you know um a tcp protocol on the local host one and um we're going to make that tcp protocol available to you know other operating system that want to connect to that um tcp protocol by using the command display equals to ratio one which is local host one x host plus okay so if you're connecting to vnc server for the first time you're going to be required to enter a password enter a password that you can easily remember and you know you're going to click on enter and that is it so to connect to the VNC server now, um, using on dpin, we're just simply going to use the command display equals ratio one, which is we want you know um, dpin to display XFCE GUI on ratio one, okay? And um, yeah, display. You're going to be using the command on the screen right now, and you're going to make sure you start the bus launch also, and that is going to start the GUI. All right. So now you can log into the GUI using you know your preferred um, VNC application. As for me, I use NetOntakex. All right. So if you're using NetOntakex, you're just simply going to make sure your connection type is the Ultra VNC, and in the VNC connection settings, you want to make sure you're using localhost one. Okay. And I'm um, in the VNC password section. You're going to enter the password you created earlier. All right. And that is it. You're going to click on Connect, and it is going to connect you. And this is how you install dpin on your android phone now remember this is the unstable version so the assurance that this will not lag is not guaranteed so um thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye